Hey y'all, what's up? It has been a minute since I have been in front of anybody's camera. So it's been a lot going on. Okay, first of all, I'm transitioning with my hair, so excuse that. Um, going from permed hair to, what's it called? Natural hair, so it's a whole process. And I'm in the in-between phase, so again, ignore that. But um, we are in the kitchen tonight making stuffed peppers. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But I just wanted to get on here and just do a check-in. Like, let's just check in. So, this is Demia. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. <laughs> if you have been here before, thank you so much for coming back and thank you so much for being patient because it has been a minute. And for those of you who may not know, this is my gorgeous daughter, Imani. She's on spring break <laughs> this week. I mean, she's life. virtual, like I'm she's been day. away, but she's been at home virtually learning. Virtually learning, is that right? Like? Learning virtually. Um, so we just wanted to get on here, or I wanted to get in here and just say hello. Um, so we are in the middle of winter. Not the middle, because winter is almost over. Today is March 2nd, and spring is, it's not this month. Is it this month? Yeah, it's this month, sometime this month. But you know, it don't. March 19, 20 or something. But I don't, don't know, but the, but really the groundhog means, saw his shadow, so it, it might be longer than spring, that. spring, though, to like. But I heard on the radio days. today that's supposed to be in the 60s next week, so we're going to take that as a win. But anyway, I'm also taking a class. I'm taking a course um, for work that's been having me very busy. I actually have a class tonight at 7. It is now 5.15. So we need to get this dinner in the oven so I can attempt to eat beforehand. Um, so I've been busy, I've been busy, I've been busy, I've been busy. So that's why I have not been on here checking in. So please don't think that I have forgotten about you all because I have not. Um, I've just been busy for the first time in a long time. I haven't been this busy probably since she was a child, small. Um, so everybody relax. I'm getting it together. So I haven't had, first of all, a stuffed green, a stuffed pepper, and I don't know how long. My mom used to make them a lot when I was a kid. Oh, here, honey, you can help me. You're gonna cut it down the middle, and then you gotta take it not down the middle, down the side like that. Um, yes, sir. Yes. So we are. You're not supposed to cut to the bottom. Yeah, do that all the way. I'm sorry. Um, so, as far as my weight loss is concerned, this is bad. <laughs> I said it wasn't straight. We won't use that one. Here, do this one. I mean, we can. <laughs> so I don't like to kick the angle of the camera. Like I feel like I can't see people. Okay, so. Which is like she be acting like I'm the one that know that is the only one capable of doing mm -hmm. this. What do you want? See, that's why you here. gotta do it because no, I want the camera right here because I feel like I'm not talking to people now that I think about it. Well, you can't. Okay, so I can't. All right, so there it is. It's over there. So anyway, so my weight loss journey. We can't use it. I have um, not been consistent with my habits, I guess I could, sh I could say. Um, you wanna get rid of all of this as much as that right, right there. So I have not been as consistent with my dietary plan. So like, um, I am still making conscience, trying to make better eating choices and everything like that. Um, I have been working out. So at work, there's a, uh, three to four of us that work out on my lunch break, on our lunch break. So I've been doing the treadmill, I've been doing a road machine, and I've been doing a stationary bike. And the stationary bike, oh my God, I did this one course the other day, these hills, oh my gosh. They were quite scary. Um, so we do that three to four times a week. So I have been productive with that. 
um, when this when it gets warmer, I can't wait to be walking outside again on the trail that I used to walk. And I would like to hopefully start a walking group. Um, I don't know what that's gonna look like yet. And again, I won't be able to do it until my course is completed because it's um, it's an accelerated course that I'm taking, so it, it it's a lot of it's a lot of work anyway. So I won't be able to do it until this is over. Um, so I would like to hopefully sometime in April be able to start that. Um, and then just become extremely diligent about, yeah. what was I saying? I would like to, yeah, start walking in April. Okay, no problem. Um, does it say to stuff it now? Um, so yeah, I'm anxious to get started walking outside again. Um, because I love to walk outside. But I would like to start some kind of walking group. Because I know a lot of people that are, you know, trying to do better and be better with life. So why not try to get a whole bunch of people involved? That can where we can hold each other accountable and get things done. So, um, hopefully I can do that. But again, I don't know what that looks like just yet because again, I don't have time to focus on it just yet. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. And then, um, she's asking me questions I can't answer. I don't know. So anywho, um, so I have been eating my, um, going back to my weight loss journey. I have been eating my um salads i started eating salads again although i was talking to my coworkers today and i like my salads are getting boring so i need to do other things in my salad so they gave me some ideas with that and then i also said i just needed more menu items to cook because i get bored with my salads too so i'll do salads for like two three weeks and then i don't want to do them anymore so we talked about some of that and then my breakfast i need to stir that up some too because i had some oatmeal for breakfast this morning and i usually eat breakfast around seven by like 10 o'clock, I was starving. Like my stomach was growling. Like this is how bad I was. So we were just talking about different things to put in my oatmeal. Like I can add peanut butter, I can add more fruit. Cause I did put raisins in it. Um, and one of my little kids, he puts peanut butter in his oatmeal. When I first looked at it, I thought it was crazy. But maybe I'll try it. But she said you could put regular peanut butter on it or even peanut butter, um, not peanut butter powder. She called it something else. I don't remember what she called it. But um, my coworker was talking about quiche. We were talking about the egg cup. Did you ever do an egg cup? Where you, um, I'm gonna make some tonight. I might make some tonight. Um, or tomorrow or the next day. But it's basically in a muffin pan. You put scrambled eggs, you pour eggs in it, and then you just fill it with whatever you want. But I'm gonna do I don't like spices. And I said, don't put a whole bunch of chili powder in it. And all she kept saying was, can I put more chili powder in it? And see what happens? See what happens? So now it's probably gonna be too spicy. I'm not gonna even eat it and I'm gonna be mad. All right, so dramatic. Just so, saying, nobody cares about my feelings. So dramatic. Because my boo don't care either. Every meal he makes is spicy. Every meal he makes is spicy. But don't nobody care. Did you care when you put the chili powder in there? I said, can I put more in here? You said, go ahead. Sure, that's what you do whatever you want to do, because it's all about you. <laughs> so you can't be mad. So anywho, um, so again, I'm taking this class. Work is busy, but I'm blessed and thankful. Um, I hope all of y'all out there are being safe with this COVID. I hope you're still wearing a mask. I hope you're washing your hands. I hope you are social distancing. I hope you're not having no parties. If you're in a restaurant, eat and then get out. Don't be lingering. Um, so yeah, all that good stuff. Um, what else, what else, what else? I think that's it. But I just wanna do a check-in. 
and just say what's up and say hello because you guys hold me accountable, those that are watching. So I have to get it together. But this is just checking about my life. So there'll be a separate, whole separate thing for my weight loss in a couple of days when I do my weigh-in on Friday. But um, I just wanted to say hello. And we wanted to say hello. Anything else you want to talk about? No. We have some topics that have come about that I want to discuss in another video, but again, I just haven't had time to do it. But um, more content will be coming soon. And I know I said that in the last video and that was like a few weeks ago and I still haven't done it, but I promise. I, I can't promise because I really don't. Y'all be all right. <laughs> I'm gonna get some stuff out. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, but just want to say what's up. We're making some stuffed peppers. I will make sure y'all what's in there so far. It would be looking kind of good. So in here is some ground turkey, brown rice, spinach, and salsa. Salsa and mozzarella cheese. So ground turkey, spinach, mozzarella cheese, salsa, and that's it. I think. And then she put her seasonings in it. Smells delicious. So we have some green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, and orange peppers. And we're just gonna stuff them until we can't stuff no more. Start so, you know. so I'll come back and show you our finished product. All right, so here's the finished product. Stuffed peppers. Which one should I eat? Which one should I eat? Bon appetit. Hey y'all. So as you can see from my last video, I was doing a check-in, talking about how I needed to get back on board with my weight loss and everything. And needless to say, nothing much has happened since then, okay? So life is just busy, but I am mentally prepared now because the bulk of my class is over and I am not feeling good about self. So I'm ready to go ahead and jump start. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my life together, get myself together, my clothes are feeling different, and I'm just not happy about the way it's going. So I got on the scale Friday, yesterday, and I said, I'm just gonna start over. So I still have this goal to lose 50 pounds. I have since up to this point have lost 12. So I am beginning today to say that I need to lose an additional 38 pounds. Um, so in the process of thinking about everything, I'm saying to myself, I need to change and adapt and do whatever to make this a success because what I've been doing thus far has not worked, but I don't know what exactly I'm doing that's not working. So I need to break it apart because I feel like I'm eating the right kinds of foods, but I might be eating the wrong portions or my dishwasher is running in the background, so I hope you can't really hear it. But if you hear like a strange whatever, it's my dishwasher. Um, my portion controls, um, I eat late because I'm so used to being a late night snacker. Um, the foods that I'm eating, all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to kind of break it down to see what exactly is working and not working, what I need to tweak, what I need to adjust, things like that. So beginning this week coming up, and I'm gonna take it week by week just to see what's gonna happen. So I've been in touch with my accountability partner, my cousin in Texas, um, and I said for this week coming up, I'm not going to eat anything after seven o'clock. So I have such a habit, and I've said on videos before, of coming in, eating dinner, you know, showered, pajamas, all that, watching TV, cool. And for whatever reason, when I go to bed, I have to go to bed with a snack. And I don't know why. My mother does it, so I don't know. And you know, we've, we've, we've done it. Like that's just been our things. And a lot of people do it, don't get me wrong. It's not something that's abnormal. But it's just a habit of whew, winding down. It's like sitting in front of a movie when you feel like you have to have popcorn. I sit down. Who exhale and now I'm having a, a late night snack. And it could be ice cream, it could be nuts. And about them dang nuts, I think nuts add weight. And TMI, it makes me very gassy and bloated. 
but I love nuts. I love cashews. I love almonds. I love pistachios. And, but I think they're really, and someone told me once, and I may have mentioned this before, that nuts are fattening. And I think they really are. Like it is really, truly, I think I need to give them up for a while. I'm gonna give up the cashews and the almonds because that's what I've been eating a lot of lately. And I'm gonna switch to my pistachios. I cannot give up nut nuts, like wholehearted. I don't know if maybe I shouldn't eat them at night. I can still eat them during the day. I don't know. But again, we're going to take it step by step and try to figure some things out. So this week coming up, beginning tomorrow, Sunday, I'm not going to eat anything after 7 o'clock Sunday through Thursday because next Friday I will weigh in, right? Um, so I'm just going to see how that works this week. I'm just going to see what it does. This is going to be the only thing that I adjust completely. You know, I'm still going to do what I do you know, eating my salads. I bought all my salads for lunch for this week. Um, this is my last weekend that I go on spring break for two weeks. Oh, anyway, I have my breakfast, breakfast is what I'm gonna eat for breakfast this week. I'm gonna alternate days between oatmeal and my apple with, excuse me, my apple with peanut butter. Um, we went grocery shopping today, so I bought a lot of fruit. I bought, um, some snacks, and actually the nuts. Yeah, let me show you right what. Balanced break, balanced breaks. Get a boost from your breaks. So in this package, this has natural sharp cheddar cheese, sea salted cashews, and cherry juice infused dried cranberries. So that's what it looks like in the back. These are delicious, and these were on sale today in the market. They're usually like $4, but they were $1.99 today. And it's three come to a pack. And I got two different kind. I don't know what the other kind is. So I bought some of these. We have oranges. I bought pineapple chunks. I bought sliced peaches. Yeah, and that's it. So again, I'm going to alternate breakfast between apple and oatmeal. And in my oatmeal, I put raisins. My apple with my peanut butter is filling. I have that for snack. I have fruits. I have a salad for every day this week. I brought them pre-packaged. So I didn't feel like going through the whole chopping up everything. And then for dinner this week, we're doing simple. We're having fajitas. I'm sorry, strong, wrong. We're gonna do quesadillas. I wanted to do something simple, simple stuff this week. So we're doing quesadillas and sausages. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do my sausage on a roll or if I'm going to put some vegetables in it. I don't know, but that's, it's, anyway, it's gonna be light. But anyway, so my focus this week is not to eat after seven o'clock p.m. That's my goal, starting tomorrow, Sunday. So Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night. I'm just going to not eat after seven o'clock and just see what that does for this week. I talked to my accountability partner. She's going to do the exact same thing. And then every week we're going to add, change something to like get into a rhythm and a pattern of doing something. Um, so wish me luck with that. I just got to figure out because I have to make a change because my body's not doing, it. my body's not changing. So I need to make a change in some things. Okay, out of my peripheral, she's in there dancing. She's cute but distracted. <laughs> um, so that's my um, my goal. And um, again, we are still working out at work three to four times a week. And so this week coming up, we should do again Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Um, and then we are on spring break for two weeks. But I do plan to, hopefully the weather is nice, I can get some walking done outside. I wanna start incorporating using um, weights so I can get some arm muscle going on. Speaking of arms, I got vaccinated yesterday, round one. Um, and I had no symptoms today. My arm is still very sore up here, but other than that, no symptoms, praise God. Um, so yeah, that's where we are. So step one, to figure it all out, no eating tonight after seven o'clock or no eating this week after seven o'clock. So wish me luck with that. 
And um, that's what I'm gonna say right now. And by the way, those stuffed peppers were delicious. They were really, really good. So that's my story. Again, thanks so much for watching. If you have been here before, thank you so much for coming back. If this is your first time, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for stopping by. And please make sure you like, comment, and hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell when you subscribe so that you can be up, so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. So that is my story for today. Bye.